So here we are. <laughs> here we not are. <laughs> so we've decided to check out this place called Shendu. Impression. What? Impression. So it's we've decided. Cuisine. So we've tried. We've decided to try this place called Shendu Impressions. It's a shesh one cuisine, cuisine place. And uh, why? Why did you decide? It be, you know, because we were watching Mark and he Mark said, who? Hey, not everybody knows Mark. <laughs> you watch Mark. <laughs> we were watching Mark Wins. Wins. And he says, Come here. So we're going to order a few dishes that look good to us and rate it for ourselves. Let's see if Mark has the same taste. Wow. as we do because if his recommendations are going to be this then we're either going to believe it or not believe it so today we're going to find out if we have the same type of taste buds yeah so let's go eat some Szechuan Szechuan cuisine, cuisine. <laughs> Time to eat. Hi. Okay. Oh, nice. You want to go in? So we decided that we were going to get the Dan Dan noodles. I'm going to get a side order. And the the hot and sour jelly noodles, that's an appetizer, and the mapu tofu. Scott is going to get the kung pao chicken. Yes, that's on the side. Kung pao chicken. And two bowls of rice, I guess. And that's what we're gonna give a try. Okay. Okay. So here are the noodles. And this is Kung Pao chicken. No rice. Your container of rice. Everything mm -hmm. is paper plates. And I suppose this is because of the Just pandemic. Just the rolls, yeah. Yeah. So here we go. This is the Dan Dan noodles and the Mambo Tofu. Wow. All right, give it a try. Get some of these chili peppers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Go for it. Lots of chili pepper. Mm. It's good. It's a cold dish. Mm -hmm. It's nice and pepper. Spicy. Vinegary. Lots of different spices. And they call it jelly noodles, they ain't kidding. It's yeah. gelatinous and slimy <clears throat> and good. Different flavor than you normally get at a Chinese restaurant. Your traditional Americanized Chinese restaurant doesn't taste anything like that. It's more vinegary. Mm -hmm. I like it. <clears throat> and then the Kung Pao here. Big chunk of garlic in there. All 
All right. Hmm. Yeah, they said the same thing. Um, that it's not like traditional Americanized Chinese, and this is like any kung pao I've ever had. It's pretty mild as far as spice goes, but um, lots of flavor and rich, deep flavors. Do you like it better than what you're used to? Oh yeah, it's it's better than any other kung pao I've had. Oh. And usually they just try to add a lot of spice to kind of mask the fact that there's not too many flavors. But this has <clears throat> super flavors. Yeah, that's good. I could eat that every day. Really? That's oh. impressive. They got peanuts. Mm hmm. Onions. What is this? Garlic. Big chunks of garlic. There's something else in there too. Sounds like a different kind of a ginger or something. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but it tastes very good. Hmm. Chicken is soft. I like it. Yep. Yeah, after eating these noodles, I can't taste if there's a spice level to it at all. There isn't. It's just flavor. Because this instead. is hot. <clears throat> okay. Mapo tofu time. All right. Well, on the Dan, uh, Mark Ween video, they said that this was the Mapu tofu of life. Like basically, um, this is all you need in life is just this Mapu tofu dish. And that's it. You have this numbness and tingling on your tongue from <coughs> the Szechuan pepper. And that's something I've never tried or had before. And can you taste that? Yeah, there's... It's a, like a numbing. Yeah. A numbing on your tongue. It's almost like a mentholated cough drop or something. Yeah. The mapu tofu I normally get isn't this dark and rich. So... Did you get some? Not yet, but... Oh, I just encountered cool. some kind of new thing in the Kung Pao. There was some kind of a leaf or something in there. And it, I've never had anything like that either. <laughs> it was like a whole new experience. I don't even know how to describe. Hmm. All right, let's try some of it. The Mapu Tofu. Okay. Are we going for it at the same time? is running. Spicy? Mm. Oh, it was It's from this. Oh, that. <clears throat> that. I, I was eating the chili peppers. And there's chili peppers. The tofu's soft. It's spicy. Not super spicy. It's definitely got a different flavor from the other mapu tofu that I've ever tried. It's definitely different. Mm. That's a good dish. Now, you must try dead dad noodles. Okay. 
Ready? Okay. I'm gonna try it. So far, your dishes are spicy than mine. Ooh. <laughs> that is spicy too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they say this wasn't that spicy compared to normal Mapu Chopo? Or normal Dan Dan noodles? Or... Um, maybe. <clears throat> but it really has a great depth of flavor. In really it. long noodles. And the noodle texture is nice. Hmm. You ever had anything like that? No. Nope. <laughs> they're all similar to each other. You know, you can tell that they're totally different. I guess this is the authentic stuff too, the more realistic than any other restaurant, even in Los Angeles. Well, this is in Pasadena, right outside of Los Angeles. Not too far. <laughs> really good. I like all of them in their own ways. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite? Yeah, mine. <laughs> Your Kung Pao? Oh yeah, it's by far the best to me. How about you? If I chose only one dish I could get, it probably would be these noodles. <laughs> oh, wow. <the> appetizer. <laughs> the appetizer, exactly. I just love the texture. Because this is the flavors, kind of, of everything. It's got good spice level. Yeah. Um, I just love the way that the noodle rolls off my tongue. And all the dishes are similar. They have something in common among themselves, but look very spice. different from everything else I've ever had. <laughs> the spice, the chili oil, and the Szechuan peppers yeah. are what they have in common. Mm. Very nice. Final thoughts on? I suppose I have a lot of final thoughts. Um, yeah. I think. Um, I think if you're, you know, if you're from this part of the country, this part of the world, and you're missing your local food, and you come here, like this is probably like a five star, as good as it gets. But um, for me, having never had it before, it's like startling, and there's all these little surprises, and it's nothing, no flavors that I'm used to. It's a little unusual. It's not some place I would come back to a lot. Or maybe this is just a one time thing to see what it's like here. Um, but I think that's just because I've never had these kinds of foods before. And they're good. It's just that, you know, I, I think that's another one of my thoughts is, you know, obviously Chinese food has been Americanized to this country, and there's probably a good reason for that. People have different expectations. So this doesn't fit into my expectations. So it's not like a comfort food. It's more it is an experience. But it's good. What about you? What are your final thoughts? Well, after f further eating more, um, I think that the Dan Dan noodles is probably my favorite. And it's because it's a hot dish. 
and it's got a lot of good flavor in it. I really like this. Uh, these cold noodles, they're really great. Um, they're very spicy. And I really like the texture of it, but I prefer my food hot. Mapu tofu is really good in its own way. It's more of like a chili-based mapu tofu, but whereas the mapu tofu I'm used to eating is more curry-based, like Japanese. So um, this is a very hot version of it and more watery, if, if I could put that into words, because it's not as thick. It's just oily with chili oil. Um, this Kung Pao chicken, I really liked that it had a bunch of different textures in it. Every bite was a surprise. You never knew what you were going to get. And different flavors. Yeah, there were so many different things. There's peanuts, there's onions, there's, I think, what was ginger. Yeah, different kind of ginger that I've ever had. Yeah, or probably, maybe it could be a chestnut. <laughs> and um, I just really liked that that was a surprise in every bite. The noodles were nice and cold. These were very savory, umami flavored. <laughs> <laughs> if that's how you want to define it. And the mapu tofu was definitely different because it's chili based, not curry based. So, would I come here again? Mm, I might come for the dan dan noodles again, but uh, I'm not going to drive all the way to California for it. <laughs> <laughs> to be about as close as we can get to the Hollywood sign. This is how we store our bicycles, our e-bikes. We made it up here. We made it up here. And doing e-bikes, it's not really much of a sweat at all. So can't take credit for real hard work on getting here to the Hollywood sign, but it is nonetheless the beautiful anyway. There's the H behind us. We're in Hollywood land. Yeah. 
So this is where the road ends. You can walk up this path right here for a better view. Will Rogers State Park and we're gonna head on what they call we're gonna head out on a bicycle so what they call the strand the strand and it's like a 26 mile long along the coast of California here yeah. but uh, we're not gonna go that far uh, as you can see it's almost sunset so we're just gonna go for a little while and uh, see how far we can get Santa Monica Pier. Santa Monica Pier. I don't know where I go. We're so far away from Santa Barbara. Oh yeah. 6300. I was here, I don't know, 15 or so years ago. Maybe 20. It's been a long time. It's pretty cold. Do you know what the temperature is today? Uh, it's supposed to be a 60. 60? Ooh. Oh. Matter of fact, the last time I was here, my daughter was with me. We got a no. We got a picture from a guy who was hand painting over there. Oh, it's too bad. 
ya. Here's Muscle Beach. I see no muscles here. Oh wait, I see that guy. I see some muscles now. That's why they call it Muscle Beach. Hi, hot guy. It's a Titanic.
look like we're alone anymore, does it? <laughs> the apocalypse is over. The apocalypse is over. We found people. <laughs> Hot dog on a stick lemonade comes from ya. Yeah. yeah, Venice Beach. The chicken stick. Oh, it is right here. See? Where all the bodybuilders work out. There's no muscles. where you come watch all the big muscle guys work out. They come to show off your muscles all day. Look, you found your people. You can come over here and play tennis with these guys. It is a very windy day today. Bicycles going somewhere. Bicycles going nowhere. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 